In this video, let's see the next numerical problem based on rate of change of quantities. The chapter is application of derivatives. Let's see the question. It says, a man 2 meter high walks at a uniform speed of 6 meter per minute away from a lamp post 5 meter high. So a lot of information given just like the heights and distances questions that we have been studying so far in our junior classes. Let's draw the diagram side by side so that it becomes easier for understanding. I write solution and what is the question? Let's see, it says a man 2 meter high. So let me make a diagram, say it is a man 2 meter high and he walks at a uniform speed of 6 meter per minute away from a lamp post. So maybe this is a lamp post. Now it says that it walks at 6 meter per minute away from this lamp post and the lamp post is 5 meter high. So this is 5 meter. Now it says again find the rate at which the length of his shadow increases. So since he is walking away so maybe he is here and his length of the shadow will increase. If this distance I name as x then this distance can be named as y right. Let's make it a form that everybody can understand a b c d I have been naming them and let's join this. So basically we have two triangles and these two triangles nothing but are like similar triangles that we have been studying. So directly I can say that if my AB is equal to the lamp post, if my AB is the lamp post, if my EC is the man that we are talking about, then his shadow is being represented as X and Y, it increases as such. Now, I see that there are two triangles and the two triangles namely are triangle ABD. So triangle ABD and the other triangle is nothing but triangle ECD. Triangle ECD, they seem to be similar, right? So they are similar and by the property of similarity of triangles, I already know that AB upon EC, AB upon EC, here it is BD upon CD, right? So it is BD upon CD, as simple as that. Now what is AB? AB is nothing but 5. What is EC? EC is nothing but 2. What is BD? BD is nothing but X plus Y. What is CD? CD is nothing but Y. Very easy for our convenience. We have already done what we needed to. Let's cross multiply. It gives me 5y minus 2y which is equal to 3y is equal to 2x. Let's name this as equation number 1 because it is of our interest. Now if I differentiate the equation number 1, definitely I'll get what I need to get, right? So differentiating 1, my solution shifts here. So I have 3 dy by dt because the shadow is increasing with respect to time. 6 minutes, 6 meter per minute is given to us. So 3 dy by dt is equal to 2 dx by dt, right? Now what is given to us, what do we need to find out? We have been given that he walks at a uniform speed. So we have been given about x, we have been given about dx by dt which is 6 meter per minute. So directly put the value of dx by dt, so 2 into 6. Now again you can already cancel it. So it becomes 3 1s are 3 2s are. So dy by dt is nothing but 4 meter per minute. And that is the answer. Because he had been talking about the rate at which his shadow will increase when he moves away. So definitely it didn't increase because of the y. So dy by dt is equal to 4 meter per minute is the answer.